for anyone watching this back as a video, if it makes a video, I am live streaming this on tw on YouTube. You can check me out on YouTube every Monday and Friday, and you can check me out on Twitch any other time. And uh, yeah, this is a Xbox Series S. It's been sent in by a customer. Apparently, it's just got a HDMI fault, so I'm just going to turn it on and just make sure that it actually turns on and powers up. Make sure we don't have any kind of random weird issue that the customer hasn't mentioned. Mainly for my own protection. Okay, so that does turn on. I'm not going to plug a HDMI cable in because I don't want to risk further damage. But, yeah, there we go. It does turn on. So, apparently it's just a HDMI port. The port is damaged. Alrighty then. Let's crack on. What air station do you have? It is an uh, Aten ST862D, mate. Right, let me just get rid of some of these dust. I'll pop that into a dish for later so I can save myself cooking. I'll just eat dust for tea. Right, let's clean off the heatsink, or rather the thermal paste. It's amazing how they've got so much power into such a small board. But then again, I mean, have you seen the A1534 MacBook boards? They're absolutely tiny and they've got, well, I wouldn't say power, but they've got a fair bit into them, to be fair. Right, let's just uh, clean up as much of this thermal paste as we can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just as good as we can. Right, I'll pop under the microscope. Right, okay, that's pretty mangled. Yep. Right, okay. So, ooh. Right, we've got some messed up pins. Um, don't look like the pads are damaged though, but I did want to check them beforehand because, you know, if we've got damaged pads, I have to charge more. Right, these ports, because they're glued on one side, I'm going to use low melt solder. These ports are a royal pain in the backside, so I do like to use low melt on these. So I'll just flood it with low melt solder. Actual low melt solder, not leaded. Flood it, make one big bridge, and then every single pin is going to melt together. And it's going to be beautiful. Just flow these a little bit. So I'm just trying to push the low melt solder through. There we go, look. Beautiful. So if you push the low melt solder through, make sure it goes all the way through, then it'll be Gucci. Probably should have used a lot the solder sucker for these. Right, so you have to remove the old low melt solder because it's brittle. And I do not recommend leaving it in there. Ooh, some sneaky solder left in there. That looked empty. That looked empty to me. Sneaky little bar still. I should really be using the fume extractor. Yep, don't forget to like that smash button. Or vice versa. Smash the like button, whichever one you want to do. There you go. Let's just clear this. Yeah, so it's the same deal with these. If you've used, if you've used any low melt, Sold that wicked away. Never leave it there. Let's pre tin the pads. Oh, I'm actually going to pre tin all of it. I'm going to pre tin the pads and the ground legs.
So I'm going to hang the board over the edge of the table. I know there's a couple of mis pa um, damage pads there. They are literally just ground anchor points and there is nothing you can do about them. They always tear. The way I install these, you know, they, uh, they're going to be fine anyway. Right, bam, spanking new port. Let's add some flux. Just going to weigh the board down so it doesn't move on me. Although the same port. They are slightly different. Um, these ports, so this is the original one, the one I've just took off. So this one, if you look at that, we've got some wings on the end and on the top. Whereas on this one, there's no wing on the top, right? So these are the Series X ports, but they are exactly the same port. The only difference being this little wing on the top, like this little thing here. That's literally the only difference between these ports. The actual port itself is exactly the same. Sorry, aside from the fact that the pins are slightly longer on the, on the new ports. Very slightly longer as well. But the port itself, they are exactly the same port. Now you can even see it there, like the, there's no difference apart from the wing. Oh, and the wing on the bottom here as well, like, but that's, that's nothing. The method that I use to put these um, ports on, they're going to be nice and secure anyway, like really, really secure. Right, by the way, I've got my hot air at 480 degrees Celsius. 40% uh, airflow. Sorry, no, 60% airflow. My apologies. And I'll just heat up from the bottom. Drop the port on. That might not be sat down fully on the back. Might need to give it a quick reflow. Yeah, it's not. It's not sat down fully on the back. All right. I'll give it a quick reflow then. push down on the port so when I do these I literally weigh the board down so I, I, I use damn it I use two um, two look two tubs of solder I just weigh the board down then the board's not going to move while I'm doing it it works a treat let's give these a nudge test now and just make sure they're all sat down flat and soldered nice yep Works for me. And then for the most part, the solder is going to be pushed through enough to the point where you don't need to add any more. But I will add a little bit just to make 100% sure. Yep, yeah, that's right. All spin the board around. I'll just add a bit of solder to them ground legs there. Just to make sure that it's all nice. Right, let's make these back legs nice and shiny. Right, there we go. Looking beautiful. Right, let's just clean the port out. Best tech to use a toothbrush. <laughs> I do for inside the port. See me. I don't know it. I don't know the perfect amount of thermal paste, but I do know the perfect amount of thermal pasta. So. We're going to apply that in a second, as soon as I figure out where the hell I've put it again. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't have a clue where the frick I've put it, and I'm not necessarily talking about the thermal paste. Ah, dear. There it is. I've got it. Right. Let's put some thermal pasta on. There we go. The perfect amount of thermal pasta. That's the perfect amount of thermal pasta. I'll show you why it's a perfect amount of thermal pasta. How are the mats holding up? These are fantastic, mate. Let's put some 
pressure on it. Oh yeah. Ha! The perfect amount. How can I send my PS4 to get fixed? Um, type in exclamation point repair, all just one word. So an exclamation symbol plus the word repair. And it'll give you a link to the booking page to book it in, mate. Right, that is back together, fully reassembled, ready to test. Let's hope this works. And go to game capture and boom. Boom. Well, the profile is public, so that don't matter. As long as I'm not showing a customer's name and email address, it's fine. Right, let's give this a test. He thinks he's still connected to the internet. Nice win. Cheers. Yep. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if I show a username, like a, a gamer tag. Like, that's public. Like, anyone can see that gamer tag name, no matter what, right? So, yeah, anyone can see the gamer tag name. But in terms of, like, email address and username, you know, obviously we can't show that stuff. Right, should be connecting to Ethernet. There we go. Make sure it loads a game. It's going to ask me to sign in, but I'm not going to. Yeah, this is working fine. So, oh shit, I wanted to test. Uh... It's not going to work in 4K, but it is actually uh, picking up. It's not going to display in 4K that much, I can guarantee. Oh, actually, hang on. Is it? No, it's going to go back to 1080p. It always does. Um, yeah. So that's because I've got it on a capture card. So, yeah, if I was to put, hook this up to the TV, which I, honestly I just can't be asked, I'll do it before it goes out, but nah, it's pointless. It'll work in 4K. It's registering on 4, it's registering 4K, so it'll work. Job done. Yeah, so not, not a difficult fix, but a fix nonetheless. Nice and straightforward. There we go. Happy days. Happy, happy days. So, yeah, I could connect it up to the TV, but... Can't be bothered at the minute. So, Series A Microsoft disaster. Yep. But yeah, job done. As you can see, yes, they are not technically the correct ports for the um, Series S because of the wings. You know, these have got the wings on, but they line up absolutely perfectly. Nothing at all wrong with using the same ports.